It is Purple Rising Night. The Ravens revealed in the offseason their first ever alternate uniforms, the matte purple helmets, purple jerseys, purple pants. Week 10 kicks off tonight with the Ravens and the Bengals at M&T Bank Stadium. We will rise. And we will win. Baltimore! It is the rematch between the Ravens and the Bengals tonight under the lights on Thursday Night Football. The name that the AFC North gets is it's true. Touchdown, Nelson Aguilar! The violence, the physicality the guys play with, it's just it's always different when we play each other. Bow, 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 bow! It's got to be a physical, ass-kicking kind of mindset. Under pressure, it's sacked back at the 40-yard line. You know the AFC North teams, they're going to beat each other up on the way to the playoffs. Ravens say they have the ball, and they do! <laughs> Take advantage of the opportunities that we do get. And let's keep doing what we're going to be where we want to be. Touchdown, Ravens! Tylen Wallace! Welcome to our place. It's not going to be a fun three hours hanging out with us. Purple rising, and the Ravens are rising in the AFC North. Congratulations, fantastic, awesome. Made a statement, you know, about who we are, what we're about. We are rolling, we are hurtling, hurtling toward Thursday night. Hurtling, a million miles an hour. It's gonna be a dog fight, it's in the division of game as well. And we already know we just gotta score points. That's our job. Same to team, whoever brings the most energy usually wins these games. We understand what a big game it is. Obviously, they see it the same way. It's, it's always seems like whoever can recover the fastest is usually the team that you know, that looks the freshest. Thursday is more about just who wants to go out there and play. You, know, you just have to go to work. You know, it's a, it's it's a challenge, but uh, it's worthwhile, and we're looking forward to it. The AFC North is, is probably one of the toughest divisions, I feel like, and I feel like the style of play is different as well. The physicality that guys play with, it's just, it's always different when we play each other. The Ravens are gonna be wearing new helmets. Damn, this is hard. See, this the one, this the one, this the one. Ah! I love it. No way we're wearing these this year, for real. Damn. Those purple uniforms look sweet. Uh, excited to, to play with them, for sure. It'll be a uh, purple rising, is what we're calling the helmet. And yeah. the new name for our Color Rush uniforms, uh, we're going to call it Purple Rising. So That's cool. Yeah, excited about it. This helmet, some love, and show you the gold. <laughs> The gold face mask and all like this. And I'm gushing over this, and Ravens fans are like, that's sick. Jeez. We wearing these? Mm -hmm. It's badass, man. Got the matte purple with the gold. Gonna look sweet with us, man. There's no other crowd like the Baltimore Ravens crowd. Um, you know, they're, they're gonna always have us fired up. They're one of the loudest, if not the loudest fans in the nation, right? That's gonna be electric. The night games at, at m and are, are crazy. The fans go, go awesome and we always appreciate them for that. So it's gonna be a lot of energy in the stadium. I'll say, man, we only got so many of these opportunities left. I mean, we're already about almost halfway through the season, man. So like I said, take advantage of the opportunities that we do get. And let's keep doing what we're doing. going to be where we want to be. You will be popping out of your skin on Thursday night, ready to roll. It's got to be a physical, ass-kicking kind of mindset. It's got to be a run into the ball, finishing blocks kind of mindset. It's got to be a playmaking kind of mindset. It's got to be an energy execution kind of mindset. Everything we got. Everybody's gonna be watching that. We that's how we love it, right? Can't wait to do it. Week 10 kicks off tonight with the Ravens and the Bengals at MT Bank Stadium on Purple Rising Night. Ravens wearing an alternate uniform for the very first time. Ravens at six and three. They've won five of the last six. Bengals at four and five have won three of their last four. Square off tonight in prime time. 
Hey, y'all know what it is. Thursday night, bro. We work so hard for this. I don't give a damn for the analysts or pundit trying to tell us we're gonna win this game. We'll be a dog, yo. We all dogs, yo. Let's go, man. Let's go. It's time. It's prime time. Making some money tonight. Come on. Prime time. Let's rush them. Let's really bully these. All right, man. Y'all know that's how we roll. Come to kick us out. Smash his ass. Hey, bro. Thursday night for football is prime time. And you know what? Where would you want to be? Don't worry. Where would you want to be, bro? Ain't nothing we say. If you got 60, say yeah! yeah. If you got 60, say yeah! yeah. Let's talk about this, man. Bring it up. Woo. Hey, treasures on three. One, two, three. Treasures. Never allow to come disrespect you in your own house. A man say he love playing you in your house at nighttime. From the first snap to the last snap. And let's be a dog. If you're a dog, you're willing to fight to the death. From the first snap, you can life on the line. Lay it all out. And I promise, if we lay all that on the line, we'll smash these. The Bengals know they must win tonight to stay in this race. And the Ravens know they must win to stay at pace of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So we have reached that point in the season where it all starts to matter. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, coach. Let's go. Hey, have fun today. Come on, let's go. Have fun, man. Y'all boys do y'all shit, man. They can't put y'all, man. Let's go. That is the Bengals' third, third down conversion in the opening quarter. The Bengals have as many third down conversions as the Ravens have plays. Bengals have outgained the Ravens 108 to 6 in the yardage column. And that's where we stand as this series picks up where it left off in week five at Cincinnati. Burrow from the shotgun on fourth down and three, takes the snap. Looking left, coming right, throwing deep. He's got a man open, but he overthrows his target. And the Ravens defense gets a huge stop on fourth down. Let's go, boys. It has been all Cincinnati in the first quarter. The Bengals have had the ball for 23 plays. The Ravens have had it for three plays. Going down the middle, he's looking for Mark Andrews. Leaping catch, and he pulls it down at the Cincinnati 43-yard line. Oh, what a grab by the Pro Bowl tight end. On second and 10, he's going to tuck and run. Jutes a man at the 40th, and Lamar's got a first down after a 14-yard run. Off the play fake, Lamar rolls to the right, fires over the middle, complete. Zay Flower stepped out of one tackle, juice another man along the far sideline. A gain of 11, a Ravens first down. Jackson rolls to the right, throws to the end zone. Touchdown, Nelson Aguilar. Oh, what a play design. Okay, Todd Munkin, that was a really good play design. You act like you're on a quarterback sweep, touchdown. There's no offense in the, in the entire NFL that challenges you with the eyes as much as Lamar Jackson. Let's drop Tyler. Let's drop Tyler. Let's drop Lamar. Let's drop Mark. Let's Make that grab. Let's drop Ronnie. Nelly, Nelly. What's up, man? Well, the last time these two played back in week five, it was a game that neither team had breaks on the car. They were just going up and down the field. It's been a much more measured affair so far here in the first half, but we've seen things change between these two teams. Burrow from the shotgun, looking at the end zone, lobs it near side, it is Pick it! Ah! Intercepted by Brandon Stevens in the end zone! Oh, what a pick by the Ravens corner! Steven Showman ends up sinking back and fools Joe Burrow there. His back was to the ball. He just turns and he catches it with his right arm going out of bounds. Got to see if he got his feet down. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. 
He knew it was coming. Uh, but over you got overdue. 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 Oh, I'm gonna be up. The same foot hit twice. I'm gonna be right back up. Same foot hit twice. After review, the ruling on the field is an incomplete pass. The second foot came down out of bounds. We have second down from the previous spot. Looking to the right, pocket collapsed, he escaped, but he's twisted down and sacked back at the 15-yard line. Nambi Matabike gets Burrow to the turf. As for a 48th consecutive game, the Ravens come up with a sack. Burrow from the shotgun. Under pressure, scrambling to the right, extends, throws back, and it is caught for a touchdown. Joe Burrow quiets the house. One half in the books. It's the Bengals 14, the Ravens 7. We good. Look, we good. We're the weather of the storm. All right, we good. Let's keep playing, guys. Let's keep playing. Let's keep playing. Keep playing. Keep playing. Keep playing. On first down, Joe Burrow to throw. Steps up in the pocket, lobs it down the middle, complete. Jamar Chase has it as a 40-yard line of the Ravens. Weaves to the 30, accelerates at the 20, 10-5 touchdown. He did it again, just like in week five. He goes 70 yards again. Ravens went three and out on their first possession. Joe Burrow went one play for 67 yards to Jamar Chase. Marketed as Purple Rising Night as the Ravens put on their alternate uniform. Right now, energy needs to rise from this defense. Hey, we got to punch at that ball now. Yeah. Hey, we got to start punching at that ball now. You know what I'm saying? But the Ravens have got to get the ball back and get some momentum going because right now it is all Cincinnati. This is the largest deficit the Ravens have faced in the last two years. Yeah, we all right, bro. All it takes one play, dog. We're gonna change. Huh? One play. Somebody has to make a play out there. Somebody has to step up on this defense. Go get it back, fellas. They got to punch out this ball, man. Let's just look the field right here. That's all we need to do. Burrow on second down and five. Hands it off to Chase Brown. Steps over one tackler. Crosses the 30. Loses Balls the out. ball at the 31 yard line. Ravens say they have the ball. Oh! Oh! They do! The Ravens force a turnover as Roquan Smith came up with a fumble recovery. The force by Marlon Humphrey. Your big time players have to make big time plays in these type of games to shift the momentum and hopefully that does that right here for this Raven offense. Keep leading them, boys. Keep leading them. Yeah, Marlo. Yeah, boy, Marlo. 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 He's great, Marlo, man. Marlo. Marlo. We need that. We need to get off. Yeah, we got to lock in and let's go. That's right. Every drop we get back out, that we got to score. Yep. Hill comes in motion to the near side. Lamar wants to throw from the shotgun. Drifting to the right. Backpedaling at the 30-yard line. Sprinting. Coming down the near sideline. Tiptoeing down the sidelines. He's in the 15-10. Five. Lamar still on his feet. He's in the one and he stopped there. What a play by Lamar Jackson. That play is not humanly possible. It's unbelievable. He should have been sacked back at the 30-yard line. Any other quarterback would have been. He tiptoed down the sideline like an Olympic gymnast, tucked into a crowd, and gets the ball to the one-yard line. It's first and goal. Hey, he different. That's why that MV3. MVP, MV3, man. Lamar from under center. Give it to Henry. Running to the left side, stiff arms a man, leans forward, touchdown for the King! And the Ravens have climbed back in this game. 
and you got to hope that that fumble was a momentum shift that the Ravens needed to win this football game. Get our momentum back, you feel me? Get our momentum back right here. Let's get our momentum back right here, come on. Feel me? Let's go. This type of game to be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, especially in division. Yeah. The second time, it's yeah. a blowout. Oh, it's closer. closer, yeah. You guys going to go back with them? Aim here. You go duck, then you end up hitting them right here, then you get the ball out of them, right? So aim at the hip. Aim at the hip. Hey, when you come on the quarterback, when you get a hip, aim at the hip. Aim at the hip when you go to tackle this because they don't duck. Final minute of the third quarter. Burrow will throw. Under pressure, it's sacked back at the 40 yard line. And coming up with the sack, his second of the night, Namdi Matabike. Namdi Matabike, a pair of sacks tonight. A third and 16. All right, you have to get a stop in this situation. It's a big play right here, though. Joe Burrow takes a snap. Blitz pressure coming. Burrow sidestep the throws across the middle. Incomplete. He wanted Jamar Chase. Wiggins had good coverage, but the key to that was pass rush pressure. Great job of pushing. As long as you keep getting pushed like that, yeah. he's gonna step up. You only have two more seconds. I promise you. Yep. Just keep staying on that track. Yep. Stay with it. Yep. Stay with it. I got you. Let's go. Trust the process. Yep. Trust Let's go. Me. It'll be third down and a short two for the Ravens. Lamar sends Tylen Wallace wide to the left. Jackson in the gun. He wants to throw on third down. Quick release, and it's complete. Tylen Wallace breaks the tackle. He's to the 30. Stiff arms the man. 35-40. Midfield down the sideline in play. 30. 20-10. Touchdown, Ravens. Whoa, what a play. Outstanding play. Tylen Wallace, his biggest play since a walk-off punt return a year ago. 84 yards. And the Ravens are right back in it. That's all, hey, Ty got, Ty got two powers when he got purple. Real talk. You ain't got to get ready. What? Stay ready. Look, look. You ain't got to get ready. Right. That looked just like Okie State. <laughs> Look no, just no, like no. I've seen that happen in the end aisle. Yo, he's going to Enzo on this side right here. Same sideline. Like he allergic to the sideline. See if the defense can do it again. Second down. Green pass comes to Chase Brown, and he's taken down short of the first down marker in between the hash marks. A terrific open field tackle by Arthur Mollett. That was a really good tackle by Arthur Mollett to make it third and short. Burrow drops the throw, lobbing it to your side, looking for Chase. It is incomplete. Great coverage on the play by the safety, Marcus Williams, who was supporting Arthur Mollett. Ravens stop the Bengals in the first quarter on a fourth and three. Can they stop them on a fourth and two? Burrow takes the snap, looking over the middle, going deep, far sideline. It is incomplete at the two. And for a second time tonight, the defense comes up with a big stop on fourth down. Ball out, boy. Come on, man. Hey, 
Hey, that's why I love you. For much of the first half, it seemed lifeless. Guys seemed understandably fatigued. Not right now. They start this drive at their 35. Lamar Jackson fakes the handoff to Henry, pumps once, fires near sideline. He's got Wallace open, makes the catch at the Bengals' 47-yard line. Highland Wallace came in tonight with two catches, both against the Bengals in Week 5. He has three catches tonight for 114 yards and a touchdown. And that is good for another first down. Ravens move the chains on back-to-back -back plays. Derrick Henry will carry, he's got a hole. Henry is down to the 25 yard line. And that is the combo of Derrick Henry and Lamar. When Henry gets nine yards, all of a sudden, everybody in the Bengals defense is focused on Henry. They bite for the play fake. Lamar gets the edge, nice block from Mark Andrews. Third and nine for the Ravens. See if we can get a little Lamar Jackson magic. We need this, let's go. Lamar from the shotgun. Drops to throw, lobs for the end zone, he's got a man, he's got Andrews, he's got a touchdown! Oh, this house is on fire! And the Ravens will go to for a two-point conversion. Jackson. Keeps it on the read option, running to the left, he's in! The two-point conversion is good! The Ravens, 28, the Bengals, 21. Touchdown, and he has this place dancing. Joe Burrow drops to throw, steps up, going deep. He's looking for Jamar Chase at the oh, 30. He's got, got him. It's kidding me. He's to the 10. A 70 yard touchdown. And just like that, we are tied again. We need you, bro. We need you, all right? One play at a time. This is one play at a time, baby. Garage, one at a time. Yep. Come on. Another AFC North Classic. We are tied at 28. I hope you're ready for the show. It's time to see the best go away. And that is Rashad Bateman coming up with an enormous third down reception that moves the chains for the Ravens. You are comfortably in field goal range, but you do not want to settle for a field goal, obviously. The key here is to get your points with virtually no time left. The Ravens looking for a series sweep. They trailed by two touchdowns in the third quarter, but now they are knock, knock, knocking at the door. Lamar takes the snap, Bengals rush four. Pass to Bateman, completed the 15. He sides up the tackler, he gets down to the turf at the eight yard line. That's a smart it's move. first and goal, Ravens. Stand out, stand out. There you go. An extremely bright play by Rashad Bateman. He takes it second time out of the half. Lamar rolls to the right, wants to throw, fires back at the end zone, incomplete. We good, we good. Third and five, Lamar takes the snap, backpedaling, drifting to the left, running left, right lob back of the end zone. It's all on me when the game on the line. Game time. Touchdown Ravens! Rashad Bateman on the receiving end. And the Ravens take a six point lead. Hey, we gotta finish. Let's finish it. I'm gonna meet you in Florida. In the Come on. Let's go. In the game. Come on. Okay. Hey, hey, they keep adding up. They just add up. Hey, Good. What do you see this follow through? It's like a Steph Curry jump shot for a touchdown. 
God don't make no mistakes. Oh God. God don't make no mistakes. It's gonna be on us to finish the game. On the second day, we gotta finish. It's on us to finish, right? It's on us to finish, right? It's on us to finish this, right? Let's go, man. It's gonna be fun to see what Joe Burrow and Chase can do here. You never know. Crowd is on its feet. Ravens players on the bench exhorting the fans to make noise. Burrow will throw on first down under pressure. Slings it high and incomplete to Mike Kosicki at the 40-yard line. Well covered by Marlon Humphrey. Yeah! Incomplete. Tamar Chase was the target. Nate Wiggins was all over him. Yeah! Put him in there! Put him in there! Yes, sir! It is fourth down and ten. Burrow takes the snap of the shotgun. Blitz pressure coming. Burrow's pass is caught at it's the 40-yard line. Is this short? And where are they going to spot it? It's Andre Yoshivas who came down with a ball right at the 40-yard line. It's good for a Bengals first down. He's short! He's short! He's short! He's short! I think they're going to come back under review and say he's short. What? Short, right? He's a tag. He's a just in case. They lock it. 100%. After review, the ruling of the field stands as called. First down at first five. Bengals to the line. Third down at three. 42 seconds remaining. Ravens lead by seven. Burrow in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Ravens rush for Burrow back of the end zone. No! Is it caught? They say yes! Jamar Chase bobbled it at first, twisted, and then secured the ball as he went to the ground. The Bengals will go for two and the win with 38 seconds left. And this game is on the line. 35-34, Ravens by one. The Bengals come out of the timeout to try the two-point conversion. One stop! One stop! Ravens bring bliss pressure. Burrow throws to the end zone. It's incomplete! It's incomplete! And with 38 seconds left to play, the Hayes and Lamar! Oh, what a wild way to end it tonight as the Ravens will sweep the series from the Bengals and improve to 7-3. And, and the Ravens defense makes the huge play. Outstanding play by this defense to close it out. Bow, 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 bow! What did it make up for? You good? You could not ask for two wilder wins against a division opponent. Great game, as always. Yes, sir. Love playing against them. Yes, sir. Likewise. An instant classic between the Ravens and the Bengals on Purple Rising Night. But it's the Ravens who rise in the standings to 7-3. and three. Hey, I got it right here on my phone, man. I got it right here on my phone. Let him that glory, glory in God alone. All right? Glory in God alone. Be humble, but be, be content. All right, be content with what you did tonight. All right, be content with how you found a way to win. You talk about heart. You talk about the heart of Lions right there tonight, man. That's what that was tonight. That's what's really important. Everything else we go to work on. You can't, you can't, you can't work on having the heart of a lion. You can't work on making the plays you made to get the job done when it counted the most. You can't. That, that's just neither there. It's not. You have. It. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. We just not to the occasion. Deliver us from evil. Thy kingdom, power, and glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 All right, bring it up close. We got some game balls. Hallelujah. We got some game balls. Four touchdown passes, play after play. Who else? How about a forced fumble? Start turning the tide right there. I mean, you talk about a hit. Marlon Humphrey. We're going to get this pass defense right. But for now, let's enjoy this dub, man. I love all y'all. Just keep fighting. Keep working. And just let's go, man. I'm, I'm excited. I love it. Let's keep going. How about? How about?
How about career high third three sacks? Domni Matabinke! Man, I love y'all, man. I love to come to work with y'all every day, man. Just keep building, man. Yeah, yes, man. Best in the league, bro. Yeah. I believe it every day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how about time and wall? Yeah. 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 Hey, I, I saw that. I saw that same stride down that same sideline just last year in overtime, midnight. How about that? I'm, Speech. 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 Man, I just appreciate y'all, man. You know, I'm gonna come in every day, do what I have to do, and try to take, make the most of my opportunities, man. Like I appreciate you all the time. Let's just keep building, keep doing what we're doing, and let's do it, man. Yeah, top. All right, we had one of these today. I think we all know who's gonna get it, right? Two point play stop. Mm -hmm. How about our Darius Washington? Yeah. Uh, I ain't really got too much. Like Mondo said, bro, we're going to get the pass defense right. We know they wouldn't stand it. Let's just keep on building and keep on winning. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. 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 Bring it up. we got a question we got to answer because it's really appropriate. Everybody get up in there close. Everybody get up in there close. Everybody get up in there close. Hands in here. I got a question for you. I got a question for you, baby. I got a question for you. Who's got it better than us? No! Great job, man. Proud of you guys. Love you too. So proud of you guys, man.